Android is a great gaming platform. Not only are its native games awesome, but in the age of streaming, it's getting more and more useful, letting you play PC games via Steam Link or GeForce Now. But to get the most out of it, you need a controller, and PS4 controller, aka DualShock 4, is one of the best for the job. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to connect your PS4 controller to an Android phone. There was a dark time, long, long ago, six years or so, when Android was still a platform in its nascent stage, and to really unlock its best features, you had to root your device, but no more. One of the many things you can do now without rooting is connect your PS4 controller to your Android phone or tablet via Bluetooth. We'll show you how to do this, as well as addressing a teething trouble lag problem some users have reported when using a PS4 controller with their Android. Connect a PS4 controller to your phone. The actual process of connecting your PS4 controller to your device couldn't be simpler. Just do exactly what you do with any other Bluetooth device you want to connect. First switch on Bluetooth on your device, then go to the Bluetooth menu in the quick menu or the settings menu and connected devices. In the connected devices menu, tap pair new device for the phone to begin searching for Bluetooth devices. Next, hold down the share and PlayStation buttons on your PS4 controller until the light bar on the controller starts flashing, which indicates it's searching for Bluetooth devices. The PS4 controller should appear on the pair new device screen as a wireless controller. Tap it to connect the PS4 controller to your Android device. Now you're now officially connected and can navigate your Android home screens and, more importantly, play games using this controller. Play Android games using your PS4 controller. This will work slightly differently depending on which game you're playing, but generally speaking, controller compatible games should detect the PS4 controller and automatically map the right buttons to it. You should have the option to remap the controls in each individual game if the default layout doesn't suit you and every emulator gives you the option to remap the controls, so that shouldn't be a problem. However, there is a problem with the PS4 controller on Android that you should be wary of and that we can help you fix. Fix PS4 controller lag on Android. Something you may experience after connecting the PS4 controller to your Android device is some input lag, which renders any games requiring quick reflexes unplayable. The solution to this is a little app called Bluetooth Auto Connect. This app automatically connects Bluetooth devices you specify to your phone, and you can tweak it with various things like Continuous Connect, which automatically connects your device every X amount of seconds. First, download the Bluetooth Auto Connect app, link in the description, People have reported that the latest version doesn't work as well as version 4.2.2, so best use that one if the new one doesn't work. Remember to allow unknown sources to download the APK. Next, install the APK and open Bluetooth Auto Connect. Then scroll down to Advanced Options while your PS4 controller is connected. Scroll to the very bottom and tap Connect Now. This should zap your PS4 controller into working properly. If you're still experiencing problems, go to Advanced Options in Bluetooth Auto Connect, tap Continuous Connect, and set it to somewhere between 2 and 15 seconds, which should help you avoid the dreaded lag problem. Experiment with different times to see which works best for you. The PS4 controller to Android connection isn't a perfect process yet, as you can see by our inclusion of a workaround, but it's getting there, and if you're prepared to make those small tweaks, you'll be amazed at the effectiveness of your device as a gaming machine. Now all you need to do is get one of those fancy clamps that attaches your controller to your phone and you're all set. The one in the link in the description even includes a cable so that you can connect the controller directly and not have to worry about Bluetooth latency. And this one from Lyco, link in the description as well, is supposedly pretty good as well. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.